Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Three reasons you might see a beautiful woman with an ugly man. Damn, that's, that's, that's one of those long titles and whatnot. And yeah, because you know that, that issue always comes up. Especially uh, whenever you're discussing like physical appearance and stuff. It's like... And, and I know some people say, well, I've never seen a beautiful woman with an ugly man. Yeah, I need to get out more, man. I've, known, I've personally known such couples where the woman called a man ugly. So I'm going to give y'all three reasons. No, it, ironically, I mean, I've i already thrown like the sex reason out like several times. We're we just going to take that as a given, right? Because still, a beautiful woman can choose to have sex with a better looking man. But three reasons, right? The first reason is actually very obvious. The woman might not think the man is ugly. <laughs> Look, here's a problem with many men because it's usually the men who are judging another man and saying, "Why she with that ugly man? Why she with him? He ugly. Why?" Um, fellas, let me let me explain one thing. This is why I never like say i can like because i've had men you know they ask me well how do i look rom is my picture i'm like i don't know dude i can't really tell because understand something about men at the end of the day we can speculate and we could you know do the old oh well dude looks good no homo thing but the bottom line is we don't have vaginas so we don't know what that woman sees or feels when she looks at a particular man and she might not, cause I've known some, I've known some women, right? They'll get with a guy, and they be like, "Dude, this drop dead gorgeous." But you talk to the uh, woman's girlfriends and stuff, they like, "Man, that dude ugly." I know, I've personally known some women like that, and they even say, "Yeah, nobody else like him, but he, he's beautiful to me." That's just how it is. That's just how it is. You cannot judge what a woman is looking at. You can try, but you can't. You, you, shoot. Your body ain't reacting the same way. You don't have a vagina. You don't have functional nipples. Shoot, you, you don't know. You really don't know. So that, I mean, that's just a basic thing. And shoot. And I've already discussed in a video before, some women just like ugly men. You know? Now... In this particular case, they might, whatever the case, they cool with it. So don't worry about that. You know, just because you don't think so, well, you need to question why you checking out another man any damn way. You, you don't know. So that's one. You might not think he's ugly. Another reason, another very good reason is, despite what people think, a lot of beautiful women got low self-esteem. A lot of them don't know they're beautiful. So the second reason is the woman might not think she can do better. See, one, there's one uh, misconception about beautiful women in general, right? People feel like if a woman's beautiful, she automatically knows it. Some do, but some don't. In fact, some of the most beautiful women, if you were to seriously ask them, look them in the eye and say, or tell them, hey, you know what, you're very beautiful, they they won't say thank you. They'd be like, stop lying. And I've seen it. I've, I personally know some women like that. Or you get some very beautiful women, and for whatever reason, some guys have never told them, even if they've been married. I know a, a very beautiful, very beautiful sister, right? Older sister, right? Very beautiful, like. Um, very attractive. I mean, I've seen guys go crazy over. She said her, when she was married, her husband never told her she was attractive, never told her she was beautiful. And you get a lot of women like that. You know, they really don't know. They, I mean, they were just raised. They never grew up in an environment where they got to use their beauty like that. And they kind of humble. So a lot of times they might not know it. They, no one's told them and they, you know, they never got the sense that, oh, I'm so beautiful. So, and yeah, I've met some, they even think they're ugly. And they'd be serious. You'd be looking at them like, really? You, you shoes. You ready to give them a modeling contract? Do a GoFundMe to give them a modeling contract or something. 
or like take pictures of them or something and they'll they'll look at you and they'd be like boom i mean i've known some women shoot they just they just don't they just don't think they're uh, beautiful so if a woman has low self-esteem she don't think she's beautiful she gonna deal with the guy she thinks she can get and in fact even if a very physically good looking man were to talk to her she was like why why this guy trying to talk to me so sometimes they just think they doing they think they on their level you know or if they got low self esteem you know the guy who approaches them you know he might get in there and I've seen that happen a lot I mean the number of women I ain't gonna say they were dimes but I'd say they were raped um, maybe in a 7-8 range maybe a few touching that like maybe a 9 a lot of them they just don't know if you if you seriously ask them they'll tell you they'll tell you they don't feel like it now they might feel good about maybe one of their body parts or something or some other aspect of their personality but they'll tell you and they, they will find every flaw they got on them so it's like so if some like busted dude talk to them shoot they feel like well this is the best I can do so that's two now the third one the third one, it should be simple. Sometimes they just meet a dude and they get to know each other. Sometimes they just like the dude. It's very simple. See, one of the things in this whole, when we talk about relationships, we talk about all this other stuff, right? You know, of course, well, Rom talks about sex anyway, right? But, you know, we're talking, we talk about status, looks, game, mouthpiece, all that stuff. Sometimes, you know what, sometimes a woman, you know, she with some guy, and it's not that they met on the street or anything. It was not that he approached her. They just might have been in a social circle or maybe a job or something where they really got to know each other. You know, and they got to know each other in such a way that they genuinely like each other. They See, that's a word that's not, that's one of the things that's not talked about in relationships, period. I don't care what's what racial group is discussing it, uh, what social group, what, uh, you know, TV, you know, TV talk show host is doing it. Sometimes people just like each other, you know, they just like, you know, what, damn, I just like the motherfucker. You know, you, you know, sometimes dudes, sometimes dudes, you might meet some woman, she ain't initially what you consider attractive or anything, but you get to know her and she gets more attractive to you, you know? Or she she takes up a notch. Like here's an example. Here's an example. You, you know Uncle Rom got a story. No, nah, but it was this uh it was a woman I was dealing with briefly. Right, just very briefly, right. And in her social circle was this was this woman who was just very physically unattractive, like unfortunate. That that. It, it, you can't even call her ugly. You just say unfortunate, right? Like the chat, because you know she she wasn't she wasn't bitchy or anything. Like from what you can see from the distance, she she was actually kind of cool from a distance. But I remember I was at something and I was looking for my friend, right? And I was like, "Have you seen so and so?" And I heard the uh, the uh, unfortunate woman speak. And I was like, damn, she got a beautiful ass voice. All right? And I was like, damn. It's like in that second, she went from like a one to a two. I mean, you know, she still wasn't getting any play from me, but, you know, you start looking at her a little differently, right? A lot of situations with some beautiful women and some ugly guys, right? Sometimes they just in a situation, they get to know them and this shit go up. And the beauty of it is, it, neither side was trying. That's the beauty of it. Sometimes that just happens. Sometimes you, you meet somebody, you just click with them. Eh? Despite things, you know, despite uh, what in the textbooks or, you know, on dating sites or whatever say it shouldn't work, sometimes it do work. So, yeah, anyway, I just want to go over that. Because one thing in this whole relationship discussion there's um nah y'all not ready for that 
Uh, uh, I was about to go on a serious tangent. But this thing's more of an art. Nothing's absolute. Nothing. Nothing is absolute. There's all, I don't care what you say, there's an exception. There's no rule, you know. It ain't just like, oh, if I got this, that, and a third, I'm going to get a woman. No, there's going to be an exception. You might be the exception, you know. In general, they talk about how money works with women, but then if you look at the men who are buying the dating advice material and spending money for seminars and stuff like that and, you know, watching videos religiously, many of them got money. So if that was the end all or be all or something, boom, they wouldn't, you know, if that was the rule that was assigned, shoot, they, they wouldn't have to pay attention to a video or... You know, of course, you know, recently we were talking about the whole looks thing. Well, of course, there's good-looking men who have trouble. You know, or, you know, you talk about the mouthpiece thing. Oh, there's some guys who can chat up everybody. They can chat up, shoot. They quick-witted. They can, shoot, they got serious verbal game. And the woman still, she still stay dry. So, there's no, it's not, it's not absolute. You know, ultimately, a man has to, uh, and this is going on a tangent, but um, this is something I always say. Ultimately, a man has to find what works for him. You know, and it's an art to it. It's not a science. And it's a, it's a, it's a something that every man has to be on the path. Even listening to what I'm saying, what I'm saying is not, it can't be absolute. It can't be because everybody has to take what I say. Then take with some other, uh, you know, dating coaches or advisors, whatever term you want to use, what they're saying, and then say, how can I apply this to my particular situation? And that's what you have to do. You know, you got to say, well, this will this work for my circumstances, uh, who I am? Does this fit into my aura? So, anyway. Those are three reasons, three of the reasons. There's always a reason, and every single woman, quite frankly, got her own reasons for dealing with whoever she deal with. So, ultimately, I would say, well, this, I, I ended on this. Men, if that woman that you want is with some guy and you think the dude is busted, get over it. Because it don't matter who that, if that's a woman you want, Ain't, that guy ain't gonna be right. That dude could be, that dude could be tall. He could he could look like a supermodel, be a millionaire. You know he could have everything. It's nothing. There's nothing you won't like about that. that dude. Could be your. He could be a mirror image of you, like literally look just like you. And it's still, he's, it's still you. Still not going to really be able to deal with it, it still is not going to matter because the bottom line is she ain't with you so instead of worrying about you know ultimately seeing somebody with whoever worry about getting worry about getting your own if that woman's taken just be like all right and charge it to the game and move on don't worry about it. jealousy is Jealousy is a wasted emotion or trying to, like, figure out why somebody does something. You're just like, oh, it ain't me. Okay, move on. So, anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you later. Peace.